Hi there, my name's Brandon Jack. I'm a professional VR developer, and I make indie games in my free time. I work in Unity and Unreal Engine, and I'm primarily a programmer, but I've dabbled in 3D modeling and animation as well, mainly using Blender. Today, I'm tackling a big question. Is it still worth it to learn 3D modeling, or has AI rendered this skill obsolete? So let's talk a little bit about my background. Why did I personally get into 3D modeling? Honestly, it's because I'm a bit stubborn and egotistical. I wanted to be able to say that I made a game solo, by myself, assets and all, without anybody else's help. I also thought that 3D modeling might actually become a profitable skill and it might help me land a job in the animation or video game industry. And over time, it's just become a skill that I deeply enjoy, even though it's not my primary focus. Now, we have to talk about the state of the gaming industry. Right now, it's incredibly difficult to break into, especially for art-focused roles like 3D modeling. These jobs are highly competitive and often few and far between. But why does that matter? Because for aspiring developers, the allure of 3D modeling has always been the promise of making amazing video games, animations, and films. Yet with fewer opportunities and growing automation, things are shifting. Let's address the elephant in the room, AI. There are several AI-powered 3D modeling generators out there, and today we're going to be testing four of them. Three of them are free, and one of them is paid. The three free ones that we're going to be looking at are Deep AI, Meshy, and Hugging Face Co. I'm not sure, I don't remember what that one's called specifically. The one that is actually behind a paywall is called 3D AI Studio. So I'm going to test all of them, and we're going to see how they stack up against professional work and stuff that I've made myself. So, this is one of my game characters that I made completely from scratch. Through box modeling in Blender, I turned a normal gray cube into this guy right here. And I would say he probably took about 8 to 12 hours, but that's after I already spent 100 to 200 hours just learning how to make a character like this. Demon Dad here was specifically designed to look a little bit silly and goofy, so for all my 3D modelers out there, please don't criticize my work too much. But I would say this is a pretty decent, you know, indie game ready asset for the art style that I was going for. Next up, we're going to compare and contrast my creation here with what the AI 3D model generators are able to produce. And then at the very end, we're going to compare all of them to what is, in my opinion, a professional level AAA 3D model of the character that our friend here was uh, sort of inspired by. If he looks a little bit familiar, that's okay. We're about to find out why. So here I have a few images of Illidan Storm Rage, which is the character that Demon Dad was... Uh sort of accidentally styled after, and I'm plugging it into deepai.org and hitting generate, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so the results of this was pretty bad, as you can see. Um, so I decided to try another one with one of the different images that I had. Now, as you can see, uh, the result of this was just really bad, so I was like, you know, I didn't really think that the third image was gonna produce something different, so I decided to just download this FBX and put it in the blender next to Demon Dead. Okay, so as you can see, um, this thing didn't even come with textures. It looks pretty terrible. Uh, and I think the topology, oh yeah, Jesus Christ. It's it's not looking too pretty right now. So, I mean, as of right now, I would say that 3D modeling is pretty much safe. It's not gonna be, you know, replaced by AI anytime soon, but let's continue on and try some of these other websites. So next up we have Meshi. And what I like about this one is it kind of gives you a few different options and then you can kind of choose one that you want it to flesh out a bit more and like go into more detail with. Leave this one down here is the one that I chose. And then after a couple minutes, it spat out this. Uh, obviously, you know, that face is wonky, but it looks okay. It's not terrible. Definitely a lot better than the last one. So we're going to download this and plug this file into Blender as well and see what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty tiny down there. Let's scale it up. Okay, okay. All right. This is much much better clearly than the this guy over here <laughs> this glob of polygons and vertices jesus christ so yeah i mean let's check out the topology 
okay, you know, that's not absolute garbage. I mean, like, it's definitely not as good as Demon Dad, but at the same time, it's a big step up from this monstrosity right here. And, you know, I could see how maybe if you go into this and you edit it, spend a couple hours on it, you could get something done. And it is at the very least a good starting point or a good template for something that you might end up using. But I don't know. I definitely wouldn't say that this thing replaces 3D modeling because you would clearly still need the 3D modeling skills to edit this and make something that's actually usable. I don't think that this is a game ready asset in any sense. Okay, so this is our last free AI 3D model generator and it it's huggingface.co, it's this specific one, 3D image, or image to 3D asset with Trellis. I don't really know what that means. Um, I think this is the best picture, so we're going to just go with this one. And hit generate, give that some time to cook. Okay, he's done. Wow, that looks pretty decent. Definitely the best one so far, I think, but who knows? Let's uh, download this and put it next to the other boys. That looks pretty impressive compared to these other guys here except of course my beautiful masterpiece i mean personally i think this is a lot closer than this one for sure i mean the face still needs some work he's got like some weird horn sticking out of his face yeah, it's a little bit more low poly he doesn't have individual fingers like this one over here does but i think the texture is better and the overall like just shape of it seems you know better done oh that topology is pretty not great uh, this guy over here is better than that one for sure, but I don't know. I guess when you compare and contrast them right next to each other, they're both good and bad for different reasons. Uh, I guess I prefer this one, but, you know, it's also definitely worse than this one in a few ways. Like, these uh, fingers are pretty impressive, so, yeah. Okay, let's unlock this paywall right here. Let's just get the basic one, 14 bucks. Let's try this. moment of truth here let's see what it gives us oh my god bruh did i really just pay 14 dollars for this oh boy let's see if this one is any better let's see if this gives us a better one it might take a little bit longer but who knows okay let's see oh i mean it's got fingers i don't know how to feel about this man that face is really bad i mean aside from the face it's decent um i don't know let's let's download this thing and put it next to the other boys this one is clearly a little bit better at least the texturing is for sure um let's look at this topology here oh god what a nightmare um jesus that is just way too many it sort of has fingers but honestly i really do think that like the fingers, the hands on this one in general are better than even this paid one over here. So, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say that this model is, like, leaps and bounds above these other two. It's, you know, I mean, like, it gave him a random tail, <laughs> which I think is pretty funny. But aside from that, like, it kind of has, like, a low poly look, even though it clearly is not low poly. Um, I mean, the horns are good. Uh, I don't know. This feels like a bit of a ripoff to pay for something like this when, you know, I would rather just use this thing or this thing. I mean, obviously this was just garbage, but yeah, I would not recommend paying for a service when, you know, you have two free options over here that, in my opinion, do the same quality of work. So this here 3D model was made by an artist that goes by Abby Merrill. Uh, they posted their model on Sketchfab, and this is the same character. This must have taken them hours and hours to make. But, clearly, this is just beyond what any AI is currently capable of. Which should be, you know, somewhat comforting. So this morning when I started making this video, I wanted to make a whole character by myself. And, you know, sh record the whole thing just to see the difference between how long that would take and the quality versus what the AI generation tools were going to be capable of. Now, I gave up at the head, but it's kind of interesting because it seems like all of these websites, their AI struggled with the face in particular. So I wanted to go back in and do one more experiment and just give the AI one more chance to try and make something that looked like a human face and i think the results will 
kind of shock you. Let's go take a look. So here are the results when I type in the two words human head for the different AI websites. This one over here is obviously from Deep AI. The one in the middle is from Meshi. And this one is actually from the paid version, which was 3D AI Studio. They all did a lot better this time around when I specifically told them to make a head. Except I actually lied. This head was made by me. This head is the one that was generated by Meshi. Which is kind of shocking. It's pretty good. Much higher quality than that other model that I had it generate. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happened with that first one. But this is pretty intense and not what I was expecting at all, to say the slightest. So to answer the question of this video, has AI rendered 3D modeling useless as a skill? In my opinion, not yet, but that day might come soon, probably within the next five years. If you watch this video to kind of try to decide if you should even pursue learning 3D modeling, I think the answer is an absolute yes. If you're really thinking about it, and you're passionate about game development, if you want to get into like 3D animation and films and stuff like that, you should absolutely learn how to 3D model. Whether or not you should really pursue this as a career is a completely different topic for another video, and I just can't answer that right now. What I will say is that if you are going into learning how to 3D model, expecting that one day you'll be able to get a job or make some money doing it, using it as a skill, I might rethink that because there are so many experienced people in you know, industries like game development and animation that are really fighting for jobs right now. And whether or not that's going to change, I'm not sure. But eventually, at some point, you are going to have to compete with really experienced people and AI, too. So take that into consideration. Leave a comment below telling me what you think. Did I miss some really great AI tool that just makes absolutely mind-blowing 3D models if I just use the wrong ones and I'm completely wrong, or I don't know. Do you think that it, there really is still a fair gap between AI and 3D modelers? Uh, either way, let me know what you think, and until next time, see ya. It tries to model, but it always falls flat Machines can't grasp what art's truly at Programs glitch in the design they draw Computers fail in ways that leave us in awe They render worlds with precision and flair But lack the touch of hands that care In algorithms they trust always blind Missing the spark only hearts can find Don't let the robots win Every vertex they map still feels too cold No algorithm can replace the old With the warmth of flaws that make art glow Human touch is something they'll never know they replicate but can't innovate true Formulas fail where passion comes through 
greedy dreams, real artists bring to life With human touch that cuts like a knife Don't let the robots win Don't let the robots win mm.